Hey what's going on guys, my name is Brad, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the upcoming Yu-Gi-Oh game for the Nintendo 3DS out this summer in Japan and hopefully a little bit later in the rest of the world. So the game has been revealed in this week's Weekly Shonen Jump magazine in Japan. It's going to be called Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters Sakio Card Battle. You can see the logo on screen now. Basically that sort of translates to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters Strongest Card Battle. Now, if we have a look at the logo, it definitely is the original Duel Monsters logo, which is kind of interesting because obviously in the, the past game we had on 3DS was Zex or Duel Carnival, and every game after that in Japan as well, they've used like their traditional logo, so they use the 5DS logo and you know the GX logo. But this time we're going back to Duel Monsters. I think that's you know to sort of tie in with the fact that we are getting that movie this year, and they're sort of going nostalgia on us, especially with Duel Links being very heavily based around nostalgia. So from another screen that's uh, been shown, we can also see three or four of our new characters for the game. These are all brand new characters, which is actually really good. It's something that Pokemon does quite a bit, and that's something I think this game is very heavily based around. So our main character, uh, who's red-haired, is the protagonist, and his name Protagonist. Now, I don't think this is actually going to be his name. I think it's going to be like the Tag Force games or other games where, you know, your name is actually, you know, uh, usually Konami. But then obviously you can change it to be, you know, like for me I might change it to Branaz or you might change it to whatever the hell you want. The brown haired guy is Strong GQ. I think I'm saying that right. If I'm not, then, you know, please feel free to slate me in the comment section. Who uses high attack power monsters. The green haired kid is Psychic Tendo, who, as his name implies, uses psychic type monsters. And the red haired girl in the white outfit is actually an altered version of Tour Guide from the Underworld, which actually is just a card in the TCG called in the game as Guide San or Mrs. Guide. She'll serve as a general game assistant and tutorial character. It also appears she has a Kyber Corp logo on her hat, which adds to the fact that this is going to be set around the Dual Monsters timeline, as well as the fact there's a giant blue white dragon behind the Dual Monsters logo, which I don't think is a coincidence at all. We also actually see there is actually a game screenshot in the top left hand corner, and this is where I think things get interesting, because if you actually have a look at the actual uh, screenshot, it appears to be Blue Eyes White Dragon facing Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Now, if this is based in the Duel Monsters uh, timeline, then that shouldn't work. But obviously, it's Konami, they can do whatever the hell they want, it's their game, and they're probably just using it for marketing purposes. But what's really interesting is the fact that there's actual images for them, and these are new images. Like, you see the back of Odd Eyes, and you see the front of Blue Eyes in a new form. It's not just, you know, like the, the standard artwork you see for them. So maybe they're going, and it also looks like they're, you know, they're actually battling each other one v one. So maybe they're going the route of Pokemon, where you know you summon a monster, and then you know if you battle them, you get that little battle animation. It all looks in three D, and it all looks really good from the very small screenshot we've seen. Hopefully, we'll actually be able to see more screenshots coming soon. Because if we remember, from the time it took us to see the first Duel Link screenshot to see actual gameplay, was about two or three weeks. So it could be potentially about a month away from seeing some full gameplay or some more gameplay information about this game but it's looking to be pretty cool I mean the main character looks a bit weird for a Yu-Gi-Oh protagonist um, like the hairstyle isn't wacky enough because <laughs> obviously if you compare it to something like a Tam or you know Yusei or Yuma or whatever it just looks I'm kind of reminded of Dinosaur Hunter and I don't know why um, I think someone else on another forum mentioned that as well but it does it does seem very familiar to that from what I can remember. And also the person the guy's face just it just if I'm gonna put a picture of Yuma next to him, I don't know why, but I also can see Yuma in that. So I don't know, but he's also got a cape on, but like ah, oh, this is this is really weird. It looks like it's a mashup of a bunch of different characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe, which is kinda cool. Um but we'll see how Konami do this. It's coming out on 3DS. Hopefully we'll be on both, you know, 3DS and new 3DS, so everyone will be able to play it. I would have thought so because new 3DS isn't exactly doing amazingly. Like there's still a whole load more 3DS owners in the world than new 3DS, but we'll see when the game gets released this summer. Hopefully it won't be too long before it gets released in English. I'll try and keep up to date on all of the latest news on this game though. I won't be able to bring you gameplay unfortunately, unless obviously it's Konami release gameplay because I don't have a 3DS capture card, and I don't plan on getting one, because they are very expensive. Um, but yeah, that's it for the new Yu-Gi-Oh! game. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you want to share us on Facebook and Twitter, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you have any thoughts on this, leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.